Happy Trails. I am Danny Riddle hosting a D Mule Rider 10 to 15 minute video about Hidden Lake Outfitters while they are conducting a five day horse packing adventure in Nevada's Ruby Mountain Wilderness for Claudia and Teresa. I'm hoping the video will encourage people to enjoy our public lands. This video shows a wilderness experience that can be enjoyed by anyone, such as children and elderly. We do not need to be athletes, nor do we need to be wealthy to enjoy a wilderness vacation. This video is intended to be helpful for trail users who are planning an excursion in the Ruby Mountains. Hopefully it will be useful to trail users, such as backpackers, backcountry horsemen, and other equestrian trail riders. We camped in the Soldier Basin below Soldier Lake. Soldier Lake was high this year. It flooded a neat little sandy beach at the north end of the lake. The general area of the Ruby Mountains is northeast Nevada. Elk in over here, Wells to the north, US Highway 93 runs north and south, Curry being and Ely being down to the south. There are three main trails to access the Hidden Lakes and Soldier Basin area. There is the Creek -a Creek Trail, the Soldier Creek Trail, and the Griswold Withington Creek, which I refer to as the Sharps Trail. One of the major concerns this year was snow accumulation. It varied across northern Nevada, generally averaging about 150% of normal. The snow arrived late, and when it came, it continued. It was slow to melt. Claudia and Teresa's trip was scheduled for the second week of July. An aerial view on the 1st of June showed too much snow to access the lake. Another flight on the 23rd of June still showed too much snow. Hidden Lake Outfitters postponed a fishing trip to Hidden Lakes and we changed plans for Claudia and Teresa. Instead of camping near Hidden Lakes, we decided to camp 1,000 feet lower in Soldier Basin. Henry Krinka brought the first load of gear to set up the camp. The snow was still too deep over the trail to use the trail, so Henry had to cut cross country with four pack horses to get the load in. Henry Krinka's family has lived in Ruby Valley for three generations. His roots are packing, wrangling, and horse riding. He was able to spend a couple days with Claudia and Teresa telling authentic Western stories. Our campsite in Soldier Basin was above the intersection of the Soldier Creek Trail with the Krinka Creek Trail. The Soldier Creek Trailhead is northwest of where the road crosses private property. It is open mid-May through mid-November. Hidden Lakes is at an elevation of 9,500 feet. Our campsite in the Soldier Basin was at 8,650 feet. It is an off the main trails, secluded camp where we have camped before. We used the Krinka Creek Trail for this trip. The Krinka Creek Trailhead does not have enough room for trailer parking. In the past, we've trailered to two different track intersections where a person could camp in a trailer with their horses, but the road is so rough that for the last couple years we staged at the highway across from Hidden Lakes Outfitters headquarters and we ride horses all the way. We used the Krinka Creek Trail where we usually start from Highway 229 at Hidden Lake Outfitters. We ride our horses past the trailhead, then we ride our horses 51 switchbacks up to the top of Rice Creek Ridge, then we ride down in the Soldier Basin where we camped at a campsite in Soldier Basin instead of camping at Hidden Lakes. The Soldier Basin campsite is different in spring than it is in the fall. In the spring, there is a profusion of flowers. There is fresh new green growth everywhere. This is a campsite where a person could sit around camp and enjoy the views. And they can watch the horses. Each one has a clever way to get grain out of the feed bag. Claudia and Teresa wanted to identify wildflowers. 
When I was talking to Claudia about what type of Wrangler we should hire if this turns out to be a large group with eight or ten people, I was thinking perhaps a cook, a musician, or maybe someone with advanced medical training, but no. Claudia wanted an interpreter. She wanted to know about the history, she wanted to know about geology, and she wanted to know about wildflowers. With just two people taking the trip, we did not have enough in the budget to hire an interpreter, so we worked with what we have. My wife, Vicki, knows wildflowers. She spent a few days with us. I know that there are yellow flowers, there are blue flowers, there are red flowers, there are white, and there are even more yellow flowers. There are different varieties as we ascend from 6,000 feet to 10,000 feet. There are various varieties according to the moisture and the sunlight on the side of the mountain. Some flowers bloom early in the morning and wither towards the afternoon. Others bloom later in the afternoon. Some species of flower at low elevations look much different in the low elevation than they do in the alpine habitat where there is more extreme wind and more extreme freezing temperatures. Claudia and Teresa were able to spend the evening before their ride at our schoolhouse. It was the Ruby Valley School in the early 1900s. Horse riding through rapidly raising elevation is a chance to see different ecosystems within a short distance. Hidden Lakes are at 9,500 feet. Our Soldier Creek camp was at 8,600 feet. There was a noticeable difference in plant species and there is a noticeable difference in the seasons. In July, the season in camp was late spring. At Hidden Lakes, it was still early spring. Flowering plants were beginning to blossom at Hidden Lakes, while at lower elevations, some flowers were in later stages of their blossoming. It seems like there were more varieties of plants that would blossom later in the day, then retract at night. Hidden lakes were indeed too deep in snow for camping. The place where we previously camped was still under snow. Being a fishing guide is a serious job, which I do indeed take seriously. When we bring fishermen to hidden lakes, we need to know if fish exist in the lake. Every spring, we wonder if fish survive the winter. My duty was to grab a fly rod and see if the fish wintered over. Thankfully, they had. Teresa took advantage of the break in horse riding to catch some rays.
who knows what I'm filming. <laughs> Only you will find out. <laughs> yeah, we'll check it out tonight. <laughs> yeah. That's why I guess they have the edit. There's an arrow down here. Uh huh. Uh huh. There's an archer. Shot at a deer. Right here in front of me. Exactly, yeah, we can't see very well here. Come on, let's go. Yeah, well, our sure footed horse. She shot. Sharps Trail is the third access to Soldier Base and into Hidden Lakes. Access is across private property with the landowner's trespass permission. Sharps Trail is listed on Forest Service maps as the Griswold Withington Creek Trail. From Sharps Ranch down here by Highway 229, we go up across the private property to where the normal trailhead is, and we go through forest up through the basins over into Soldier Basin, then up to Hidden Lakes. One of our trail rides was from Soldier Basin to the ridge above Withington Basin. This ridge at 9,338 feet is not as high as the Ruby Crest Ridge at 10,500 feet. It is below timberline and it receives some extreme wind arising from a 3,000 foot steep wall along the valley floor. The limber pine is a relative of the bristlecone pine. On the ridge with weather extremes, the limber pines look a lot like bristlecone pine trees. After Claudia and Teresa's trip, the outfitters packing in Soldier Basin was not over for the year. First, we had to move the camp to Hidden Lakes for a fishing party, and then it took a few more trips to pack everything out. I hope you enjoyed my first attempt to produce a YouTube video. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. This way you will be notified if and when another video is produced. I'm just a tank. I set him up another round. I set him up another round. I set him up another round. Oh, one more round won't get me down. Came home last night all full of lush. My baby began to fuss and I said, honey, honey, I don't care what the people are thinking. I'm not drunk, I'm just drinking. I set him up, another round. I set him up, another round.